Hello everyone, it's John. Welcome back to the Fat Hipster channel. Today is Advent Day number 17. Actually, that was yesterday. What I meant to say was that today is Advent Day, Advent Day number 18. And with that, we're going to be trying this. Duffel Coat. It is a English mild. And it is from the Miskatonic Brewing Company. Some of them are breweries, some of them are brewing companies. I'm not sure why they choose one or the other. But that's what I've noticed. Anyway, Miskatonic Brewing Company is in Darien, Illinois. And if you don't know where Darien is, I didn't really know either, except the roundabout area. It is right off of 55 between Bolingbrook and Burr Ridge, and really, it's just right off the interstate. And at Miskatonic Brewery, they uh, all have a interesting take on what they do there. Um, they like to add slight chaos to everything they make. This one doesn't really say that there's anything different than it. It just says it's an English mild. English milds are, uh, of course, a, a British style, and it emphasizes the malts over the hops. Uh, there should be very little hoppy bitterness in this, if at all, and low alcohol content. This is a 4.3%, which is actually on the high end when it comes to English milds. They range between 2 and 4.3, really. And, um, yeah, should be malty, maybe slight bitterness, uh, but it should be like an amber to reddish color. Uh, I do like uh, this can. It's, it's called Duffel Coat. You see the blue coat, the red hat. It kind of reminds you of Paddington Bear almost. I did not know what this octopus-like tentacle was on here because it didn't really go with everything. But I'm looking at the website, which is miskatonicbrewing.com, and if you Google Miskatonic, or if you just already know, uh, it has to do with Lovecraftian lore, uh, also sometimes known as Cthulhu lore. And Cthulhu is the giant tentacle uh, kaiju uh, sized monster of this uh, universe. Which, besides knowing that Cthulhu exists there, I am not very well versed in there. I didn't even know Miskatonic was the name of the university in the universe there, so not very well versed in that at all. Which is why I was confused by the tentacle. But anyway, let's crack it open and try it. It is a very deep red color. I don't know if you can see myself through it. It's like a dark red, so it kind of blocks a lot of the light coming through as well. It's not cloudy, however. Let's go ahead and take a picture. I kind of smell the malt. It's like very sweet malt. I don't know if you if you've ever been. Uh, to a brewery, like while they're washing up and dumping out vats of done malts. But a lot of breweries I've been to smell like this. It's got a nice, slight tannish color to the head there. Very malty. Yeah, very much emphasized the malt side of this. There is some hops in here. There's a few times where like you're tasting a little bit of like a bright bitter 
just a taste. But you get a, a lot of malt on this. It's like eating a, a bowl of barley meal. It is dry, there's no tasting of sweetness here. But the maltiness does smell sweet. You probably uh, you probably take like dough balls and like dip it in here. It would be like a pretzel or a bagel. One of those two. It's good. It certainly tastes British. Um, I can imagine uh, someone drinking that a little bit on the warmer side as well. It makes sense that it is a wintry style. You wouldn't want to necessarily drink like a ice cold drink in the middle of the winter. I liked it. Interesting can, interesting brewery concept as well. Uh, a lot of things I see um, sound interesting. And uh, yeah, I'm not too far away from Darien, so maybe I'll have to make a trek there. Have you been there? Let me know in the comment section below. Anyway, like, share, subscribe. Go to Facebook and find the Fat Hipster page and follow. And come back tomorrow for the next exciting Advent Beer Calendar review. But until then, we'll see you later. Bye.